All right, you guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, Whoa, there's some shirts in there. Yeah. All right. I like the color. I think these are for us. You see it? Oh, it's our shirts, guys. Look what he did. Boys, gonna carry one? Yeah, I'll carry one. I'll break it down. You know, that was pretty heavy. Ransom got one. Let's see it. Sparkle or speckled? Mazzy, what color is yours? Oh, I've never seen a green egg in my hand. Ransom, put yours in there and let's compare them. Don't hit them together. Whoa, you guys see how one's green? What are they doing right there? That's where they make a hole and then they make a they take a dust bath and it cools them off. They're gonna peck my toes. All right, so we're very grateful and excited for the new chicken eggs we're getting. Ranger, let's go over and see how many quail eggs we right, can we get. We collected all the quail eggs. Uh, Ranger, show them which ones are from Dutch's quail. Those right there, they're a little bigger. And which ones are from our quail? These right here. So our quail will be seven weeks old soon, and two of them are already laying eggs. Look at this one. Yeah, that's cool, isn't it? So we're gonna put all these eggs together and we're gonna have a good old breakfast in the morning, aren't we? So you can kind of see the difference in sizes. And then these are our chicken eggs. So this one's got speckles on it. I think that's just poop. This might be some speckles. So you can see the different sizes. Pretty cool, isn't it, Ranger? Mm -hmm. What you boys doing back here? Car. You working on your car? Mm -hmm. The kids helped me pick green beans until it wasn't fun anymore. <laughs> the new war, the new war off. Yeah, it lasted a couple minutes. But I've got some green beans. This is our second picking off of these. First one we had a, about a gallon and we made a bunch of new potatoes and green beans. It was really good. These we're gonna try freezing. So, so how you like that bucket? Good purchase, bad purchase? So far so good. All right guys, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for joining us again uh, here on the farm. 
Uh, today's going to be just kind of um, a farm vlog, as you've already kind of seen in some of the stuff uh, that we've shown you. So uh, we're going to go around, pick some green beans, maybe do some chores, just see what all we can get done. And um, we have lots of things to show you that we have videoed over the last couple of days and just what weren't able to get it all in. So right now I'm going to show you um, something that Gary picked up the other day. Uh, to go along with our chicken run. Gary just got home with a Facebook marketplace find that my mom found for us. Got an awesome deal on this little pin that we're about to add to something. You'll find out in just a second. See how good Gary can back. <laughs> Pretty fast. <laughs> you need your backer upper. Yeah, of course he's giving daddy directions. That good, Ransom? Good job, bub. All right, so we got it right here so that they got some more grass. Uh, we'll just let them come out in this during the day and then we'll put them back up there at night. Um, but this will also be used when we make our permanent spot out there. Well, they're just, they're not used to it. Let them get used to it. Herd them in there instead of carrying them in there. So you can see that we have it right here and uh, the chickens are loving it. We open it and let them have all of it uh, during the day and then we close it up for the nighttime. Um, so a few videos back, we talked to you guys about two different options on where we should have the chicken coop. Um, we just, we Gary had started on the chicken coop, digging the holes, doing all that. And then we were like, hmm. It's getting so hot. There's no shade trees. I don't know if this is a good idea. So we've taken some time away uh, from doing that to think about what we should do. So for now, we still got them right here. We're working on it. But let's show you the idea that Gary came up with. Okay, sit down. Is that good? All right, Ransom's ready. All right, so after all of your feedback, which we appreciate very much from the uh, video we had about where we should place the chicken, uh, new chicken coop, either in the sun or in the shade. Uh, we had a lot of comments and the winner was neither A nor B. It was actually another comment that several people have made that we should do a mobile chicken tractor or a mobile chicken coop. I know a lot of you referred to a chicken coop called New York City from Lumina Acres. And we checked that out and we like the concept. Uh, won't be the exact same thing, but it'll be, be something similar. So we're gonna go out and get the start to our chicken coop. Ready? Okay. On our next video, we're gonna do a review of my camera. You wanna do a review on the next video of your camera? All right, we'll start working on it, okay? We'll start working on it, all right? Two thumbs up. <laughs>
see, we drove this up out of our pasture. And if you're not familiar with what this is, some of you might be, but some of you might not. It's actually the trailer that is built for moving our uh, squeeze chute. So we have a squeeze chute for our cattle that has a head gate built into it. It's a mobile squeeze chute. So this thing will go right on it, pick it up and carry it if you want to go to a different pasture. Since we are planning on staying in this uh, location for many years, I do not plan on using this in the near future at all, if ever. So what we're going to do is take what we already had and use it for our new chicken coop, which Cassie and I talked about it just a second ago, and it was going to be the chicken mansion, and now we think it's going to be the chicken glamper. So I hope you guys are subscribed. I hope you hit that bell for notifications because we're going to be adding little bits and pieces along the way as we get this old metal frame built into our brand new chicken coop for our chickens. Guys, look what? How do you get up here with our chickens? How do you get it up here with the chicken coop? We're going to have to build it. We're going to have to get some lumber and some wood and some um, hinges for the doors. All kinds of fun stuff. You boys ready to build a chicken coop? Okay. Not well, not today. We're gonna get started. So first step was getting this tire fixed. So I aired this up. Might have to do a little bit of repair on it or buy another one, not a big deal. But um, we'll see how it holds there. Now we got it inside the shop under the light where we can work on it whenever we want. Um, this possibly will be part of their run. Uh, we'll either be using this or some Premier One fencing. We haven't quite got that far yet. But this was a super good deal and we could just not pass that up because you can put an endless amount of animals in this. You can put anything. So let's uh, check out the rabbits and the quail, see how they're doing, and then we'll get on to the next thing. corn and the person I'm talking about calls it gym corn um, we also call it our white eagle corn so it's getting pretty tall um, I think our tallest one's over here and come take a look so for reference I'm five foot ten inches tall so oh don't lie how tall am I <laughs> you are I'm kidding oh. <laughs> so uh, it's about six foot if you hold it up I know it's probably not do that six but foot seven foot <laughs> so it's like close to seven foot tall right here Look at this how tall it is to me yeah this is this but it's doing really well so we're gonna we plan on uh keeping some of the seed out of this to replant next year so there's just a small um, amount of corn here because we received the corn seed from cherokee nation's heirloom seed bank so they keep heirloom seeds year over year um that are historic to uh the tribe and that are meaningful to Hi, the culture. Man. And so they gave us a small amount, just a little bitty bag of um, white eagle corn. And that's what this is. And so we planted it, taking really good care of it. Hopefully we, we planted it far enough away from our other corn where it doesn't um, pollinate or cross pollinate. So we're planning on keeping some of this um, for seed, seed to plant next year. And we'll have more of it. Guys, look, we got some more tomatoes. So Ranger's getting more tomatoes all the time. He counted about 60 of them the other day, at least, didn't you, buddy? Yeah. And I picked 10 and ate them as I picked them because this is the first plant to produce some red tomatoes. There's four. All more right, Ranger, look. Do you see that one over there? Can you get it? You going to eat that one? Yep. All right, ready? Three. Well, hang on. Wipe it off just a little bit in case there's any bird poop on it. Three, two, one. Mmm. How is it? Good? That was 11, 12, and number 13 <laughs> goes to mama, right? Yeah. Yeah. So he's up to 13 on his cherry tomato plant. 
He's keeping track Wait, of it? Ranger, why are you keeping track of it? Because so we can win that contest. So he's entered in a contest to grow the most cherry tomatoes on his tomato plant. We made a video of it when we entered into the contest. Um, Arms Family and Gardening with Leon is kind of putting the contest on. If you guys want to check out that video, we're going to put up an iCard right now. So just go check that out if you would like to see how Ranger um, got started planting his tomato plant. All right, so we got a special package in the mail from uh, some of our friends who also have a YouTube channel. <laughs> so, uh, Rustic Woodworking and Family um, sent us a special package. We ordered a flag for my uh, dad for Father's Day. What, so, what, what kind of flag? Well, we're going to look at it. He's a Vietnam yes. veteran, and I told Brandon kind of what we wanted. Flag. It's a American flag. I kind of told Brandon what we wanted, and his flags are amazing, so he um, just ran with it. So, we have not seen it yet. So, ready? Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, whoa, that's what I mean. Yeah. What is this sound? What is this sound? Alright, you guys ready? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, there's some shirts in there. Yeah. Alright. I like the color. I think these are for us. You see it? Oh, it's our shirts, guys. Look what he did. He made shirts for us. Whose house is that? Ours. No, whose house is that, Magic? Ours. Well, it even looks like ours. Yeah, he made our house. And, and that's our yard. And it says WFF, Walker Farm Fam. Oh, Brandon, that, cool? that is so awesome. What awesome. Is w? Hang on. Let me look at this one. Wi-Fi forever. I <laughs> Wi-Fi forever. Yeah. <laughs> this is the medium. Oh, that's mine. This is a large. So we have been wanting a logo, and Brandon, that is awesome. We haven't even got to the flag part yet. And you guys like that logo? Yeah. So it's just an outline of our house, kind of our yeah, so. most recognizable thing when you drive up to our to our farm or homestead. Thank you, Papa, if you want. And then the <laughs> bottom the part, it was Brandon. The, <laughs> the bottom part is W with FF. So Walker and then Farm Fam coming off the sides. Brandon, we're just blown away. That looks awesome. Yeah. And it really looks like our house. It really does look like our house. All right. So that was cool. Okay. Thanks, Brandon. Now it's time to go in here. Yeah. Whoa. So Papa's number is right here. It's the big red one. That's the uh, infantry that he was in in, the, in Vietnam. Was in, and if he was here right now, he would tell you, if you're going to be one, be a big red one. Yeah. So we can't wait for him to see this and his reaction. We probably won't video it because he's not much on cameras and things like that. Yeah. Um, but if we get it videoed, we'll for sure share it with you. Um, but happy Father's Day, Papa Gary. Thank you for your service. And Brandon, thank you. Thank you so much for the flag and the shirts and the logo and all that. That's um, awesome, Brandon. We will put um, Brandon and his family's link down in the description. Um, you guys go over and check him out. This is their card. I'll put it up in close and personal. Um, but him and his wife and their kids are just a great family. We've enjoyed watching their channel. Um, it's Rustic Woodwork and Family. He is also a, a sheriff and he has a canine uh, officer. And they're just a really sweet, awesome family. So you guys head on over there, check them out. Tell them Walker Farm Fam sent you. The project that you guys are looking for in the near future, then definitely hit up Brandon at Rustic Woodwork because he does amazing work. Um, if you guys have something custom like that, this that you need done, um, he's got a website where you can go check out his work and uh, submit your order. Yeah, so we'll uh, put all that down below. And I'm just blown away by all of this uh, amazing work, Brandon. Thank you so much. We just want to say happy, happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. Happy Father's Day to Gary's father, Troy, my father, Gary, 
also a Gary. And happy Father's Day to our Gary, who is an awesome, awesome dad to our to my kids. And he does an amazing job here on the farm. He loves people. He serves people. And we are just so, so appreciative um, of him. So thank you, Brandon, for these amazing shirts and this logo. We're excited to see where all this takes us with the new Walker Farm Fam logo. Uh, we are just truly appreciative of him and his family. Please, please, please go over and check them out. Subscribe to their channel. Tell them Walker Farm Fam sent you. You won't be disappointed. Check out his amazing flags that he makes. If you've made it this far, you're a faithful follower and we are so thankful for you. We love you guys. Have a great, great, safe weekend. And as always, God bless.